So having said that, if we're talking balance, man, have you ever just tried to feel like a lower center of gravity where you just kind of root into the ground, dig into the ground? Give me three shots where on this one, you're just trying to feel a low center of gravity. And we will see what happens here. On that one, I observed Ben finish in balance. It looked very stable. And again, regardless of the outcome that you're getting at home, the question becomes is are you starting to feel yourself get more stable and more balanced as you go through these activities? If the answer to that is yes, fantastic. If the answer to that is no, not yet, we're going to keep going. You'll be surprised at how it'll improve. Okay, have you ever tried to pay attention to your balance throughout the swing? When a ball's in the way, with your eyes closed. Which I have, and I'm always shocked at what happens. <laughs> okay. So this one is going to challenge your balance the most, and it's going to challenge your commitment. It's going to make you aware of your commitment. Remember the one to five scale? Yes, sir. Okay, so this isn't about hitting a good shot or a bad shot? Uh, nope, it's about keeping my balance and keeping my eyes closed as I do so. All right, so eyes closed. He's going to swing to balance. We'll see what happens with his balance. Pretty good bounce. So we didn't see any wobble or falling over. Pretty I good. felt some wobble. <laughs> so at home, we're gonna give you about five or six balls just to make a swingy motion, feeling your balance all the way to the finish. When you close your eyes, you're gonna become much more aware of your balance, so it's gonna help with the awareness piece. now we're gonna go yep. to the next play call in your mind whose finish on TV do you really really like the most like if you had to pick one who would you say it's a good question I think I would uh, you know I just always got to go with my favorite player in the world that'd be Tiger Woods yes we love that guy we love him <laughs> can I even do a twirl whatever it takes <laughs> so at home in your mind we're gonna pretend. If you could swing it like Tiger Woods and stick the landing like Tiger Woods, and you could pay attention to that image in your mind, let's see what happens. Like I am Tiger Woods. Like a, yeah, like the commercial. Yeah. So at home, <laughs> take, take your favorite player, your favorite image, and just see if you can sense or feel that, and no matter what happens to the ball, can you stick the landing? All right, very cool. So we're not gonna say that in this case, Ben, you look like Tiger Woods. Is that fair to say? Come on, man. And, <laughs> so we're not going to say that Ben looks like Tiger Woods. However, before you hit this, you feel like you are, yeah? So we want you to pretend with this one. You want you to just feel, sense, pretend that you're the player you want to be. And can you stick the landing? We'll call it stick the landing here. Last one. Oh, the club twirl. <laughs> he liked that one. <laughs> All right, cool. So, having said that, we just spent, I don't know, what, 10 minutes or something yep. like that, just gaining some awareness around your balance. At the end of this, a lot of you, I'm sure, started to feel like, oh my goodness, I hit it really, really well. A lot of you may have experienced the difference between thinking about a lot of things and learning to just think about one thing. Uh, so there's a lot of gold that's gonna come out of this awareness training for a lot of you, and it's gonna help set the foundation for what's to follow. The neat thing about the activity is, is as you're going through it and you're paying attention to your balance, just like Chad had stated, if you notice you're hitting it exceptionally well, take this play call to the golf course with you because it'll work out there as well. So as you're paying attention to your balance and you just notice like, holy cow, I've never hit it like this, we dare you to try to pay attention to your balance and you go play golf. So see if you can commit to that on the golf course, you might be surprised what happens. Cool. Okay. We're going to transition here. So we just want to get some awareness now of swinging. Then when we talk about swinging, mm -hmm. what are we swinging? What's the big idea? Why don't you talk on the get some balls because we're going to Yeah, no problem. Somewhere. So what we're talking about is we would like to look at your golf club as though it's a stick with weight at the end of it. So one of the goals that you're going to have in this next activity is can you just swing the weight back and forth? So what we're trying to do is we're trying to keep our hands and our body moving back and forth with the weight of this golf club. So this would be a swing, oh sorry Jeff, no problem. <laughs> Wham. So this would be a swinging motion. My hands and my body are just moving with the weight of the golf club, 
and the golf ball would be in the middle of that motion. A hitting motion might look something like this. Boom! When the player is actually trying to hit the golf ball as opposed to just having the golf ball in the middle of their motion. Got it. So a lot of you at home, you want to play better golf. We want you to play better golf. We're really going to just start simplifying this and the goal is to create a swinging motion like Ben had just talked about. If we try to break the swinging motion up into parts or pieces, it's a shame because then we won't have a whole swinging motion anymore. We'll have parts of the swing. Yep. To play your best golf, we're going to want it to be one motion, one free swinging motion, and you're going to be surprised what you get. So these activities to follow are going to start leading you down that pathway. We're not going to have a million thoughts. No. We're not going to... One thing. One, one thing. Thought. We're yep. not going to try to break it into parts or pieces and make it complicated and you have to be a PhD to understand what anybody's talking about. We're not doing that. No, sir. <laughs> We're going to start swinging today. Okay. So what I'd like to see is at home, turn the club upside down. And your goal here is just to pay attention to, gain awareness of the weight at the bottom of the stick. So then swinging this thing back and forth. There's no restricting or keeping his head down or rules or drama. There's just swinging. So he's swinging the weight at the bottom of the stick back and forth. No intention to hit. Ben, would it be fair to say you're just keeping your attention on the weight of the club at the bottom? Uh, yeah, so I'm feeling the weight of the golf club and I'm also sensing my hands and my body just moving with it. Very good. So swinging the weight of the club hands, body, arm, everything working together, not independent moving pieces or isolating any body parts. Everything's moving together, yeah? Yeah, I feel like a free bird. All right, cool. So a lot of you at home, maybe you have never felt the weight of the club head, so uh, we're gonna do this one thing before we get on to the ball. Ben, if you turn that thing over, so hold it down at the bottom of the net, I want you to turn it over, and I just want you to swing the grip back and forth. So in this case, Ben's just whooshing the grip. I'm gonna ask you at home to do the same thing. So if we ask you to swing the grip or swing the stick, a lot of you have zero problems doing it. And that's what a good swinging motion looks like. Ben, can you feel the weight of the grip at the bottom? Yeah, it feels a little bit strange. Uh, yeah, but I can absolutely feel the, the grip at the bottom of the swing. All right, so give me three more of those with the grip. Give me three more of those swinging motions with the grip. And it makes a cool sound. Got a little whoosh. Got a little whoosh. Whoosh is evidence of speed. We like that. Last one. All right, now, immediately I want you to do is turn this thing over. Turn it over, make some swinging motions, no ball yet. Same thing, same thing. All right. So the cool thing about this is when you go from the grip to the club head, now you can really feel where the weight of the golf club is throughout the swinging motion. So just by contrast, we would expect you to feel like, whoa, that thing's really heavy. So when we talk about swinging the weight, that's what we're talking about. It's heavier down there than maybe you were aware of. So just back to the awareness piece, we're trying to grow some awareness around. There's a heavy thing down at the bottom that there is called the weight for the club head. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's go uh, 10 balls here. Sure. 10 balls, and the only goal is, can you feel the weight of the club? It's not to hit a perfect shot, it's not to keep your head down, none of that. Feeling the weight of the club, and we're going to use the 1 to 5 scale. For all 10 balls. Yeah, so what would be a perfect 5 for you? Uh, what I just felt with no ball. So, yes, a lot of times, uh, if you're really looking to see what a five is, one of the things that you could do is you could essentially break this up into three swings. So you could make one swing with the club head flipped upside down. No ball. Flip it the other way, make another swing. And then when the ball is in the way, I'm just trying to recreate what I just felt with no ball. So for me, it keeps it fresh in my head. Okay, so at home, what we want you to do is we just want you to take 10 balls. We're not trying to be perfect. We're just trying to gain the awareness of the weight of the club, swinging the weight, and then using the 1 to 5 scale to reflect on to what degree we're able to feel it. So if it's a 5, let's say you could feel the weight of the club all the way to the finish. If it's a 1, like I never felt it, I was thinking about something else, I was distracted, I was having racing swing thoughts. A three could be, I felt the weight of the club head, but then it went away at impact, something like that. So as you go through this, we're just going to see if we can connect with the weight of the club more and more and more as you go. That's the only goal. So for basic awareness training, it's just can you pay attention to one thing throughout the golf swing? So if I would talk about your balance, that's one thing you can pay attention to. Now we're taking our attention to the tool, the club, the thing that's going to move the ball. 
and I remember Tiger Woods, so I'll keep going, I, I remember Tiger Woods saying that uh, he knows where the club head is at at all times during his golf swing, and I remember the first time I heard him say that, I was like, how could you know where the club head's at at all times during the golf swing, and I think what he meant by that was he could feel it. Uh, yeah, he can feel where the weight is at the end of that stick all the way through the swing. Yeah, so he's present to the weight of the club, so his mastery and his, his record and all that, but he's just really talking about the basics of feeling where that club head is at. Doing all right so far. I uh, had a one, three, a four, and the rest of them fives. Got it. So would it be fair to say they're not all fives? No, you should set your, you know, you want a five to be challenging to achieve, right? Like, it's not really that easy to pay attention to one thing all the way through the swing because the mind likes to drift a little bit. Yep. So in order to achieve a five, I mean, it has to be really good. Yeah, very good. So when we talk about awareness training, we have to train the skill, the ability to just focus your attention on something, right? So they're not all going to be fives, and that's okay. Uh, it really just requires you to be honest and, and be insightful with uh, where's your attention at. So in these, Ben, is it fair to say that you're not trying to like put your swing in position if you just feel in the way of the club or trying to? Yeah, every single golf swing. And like I said, I'm staying disciplined with my process too. So notice as I go through this, you know, I'm not racing to get through this 10 ball set. I mean, I'm really focused on achieving one motion. So I'm very disciplined when it comes to these swings. Every single time you'll notice I flip the club head upside down. I'm feeling the weight at the end of the stick. I'm keeping my hands and body moving with it. Then I'm flipping it the other way. Same thing, hands and body moving with the weight. Now the ball's getting in the way. I'm trying to recreate what I just felt with the two practice swings. Got distracted. Now we're counting two. Yeah, so the, and that's honest, and this is gonna happen to you, but we can see that Ben here is process focused. He's not living and dying no. by every shot. It gets hard to get progress when you live and die by every shot. So for those of you at home, maybe you're in the stock market. If you were to live and die by every day, the stock market going up and down, you'd drive yourself crazy versus just looking at it long term and understanding that over the course of time, the disciplines of investing or whatever help you make more money. Slowly climb. Or like, you know, say you want to get in shape going to the gym, you know, you can't just look at the scale day one. It doesn't work that way. Might be depressing. <laughs> you gotta get in the gym, and that's what we're doing. So through this training program, we're gonna walk you through the, the gym workout. We're mm -hmm. gonna do the training, and then you're gonna be surprised how you're gonna get the result. Okay, so swinging. On that one, you just take took, took 10 balls to focus on the weight of the club head, yeah? Yep. Very good. So this is gonna be a central focus of our training program moving forward. It's something that you can't get good enough at. We're gonna keep coming back to this. There's gonna be more to follow.